What Thevenin says, you can have a complicated circuit, complex circuit. I don't care how big that circuit is. And you have a load here, a resistor attached for now, R sub L. Thevenin says, we can take this entire circuit and replace it with what we call Thevenin equivalent circuit. What's the Thevenin equivalent circuit? We're going to replace it with the voltage source. We'll call it V Thevenin and series with the resistor called R Thevenin. And this is your R sub L. So basically we're taking that circuit, cutting it right there. We're saying, I'm gonna replace this entire complicated circuit with one voltage source and one resistor. The question is, how do you find V Thevenin? And how do you find R Thevenin? V Thevenin can be found by finding the V open circuit. When we cut the circuit and this is gone, this is going to be open. What is the voltage right here? That's why you're V Thevenin. R Thevenin is a different way to find R Thevenin. I look at R Thevenin three different ways to do it. If your circuit has only independent sources, Then what you do, you kill all the sources. And you find R equivalent. When I say kill all the sources, what does that mean, kill all the sources? The voltage source becomes shortcut, uh, uh, short circuit. The current source becomes what? Open circuit. If your circuit has independent and dependent the way we find our feminine is actually V open circuit over I short circuit and if your circuit has only and only dependent We here apply a source, add either a voltage source or a current source, voltage or current source to the circuit. And R7 will be the voltage divided by the current using Ohm's law. I'll go through all three cases and show you one by one how do we do it. But that's how I find R7. Once you have R7 and you have V7, you can find what the voltage across that load there if you're looking for it or the current through it. So let's take an example. Here's an example. We'll do the first one with only independent sources. So we have a voltage source of 12 volts we have 3 ohms here 6 ohm seven, I think the top is 7 ohms And R sub L, this is the load. Somebody pick a number for R sub L, like a reasonable number, like these numbers here. Nine. Nine, okay. And let's say the question, find V cross the nine ohm resistor. What is the voltage right here? That's my load resistor. What I'm going to do, cut this circuit, 
right there. And it says, replace everything to the left of that with seven and equivalent circuit. So I'm going to take this circuit, the one you see in the red dotted box, replace it with V7 and R7. And this is the nine. This is our load, which is nine. And if I know that, can I find what this voltage is? If I know this and that, isn't that voltage division? So the key to find what these two are. So let's find V7. So that's my first step. I'm going to find V7. And if you remember, I said, if you only have independent sources, kill all the sources and find R equivalent. That's for R7. And V7 and V open circuit. R7, we kill all the sources, find R equivalent. V7 and V open circuit. So let's take this one out. And if I take it out, this is what my circuit looks like. And this is my V open circuit right here, where I cut it. Now let's look at that 7 ohm resistor. What is that 7 ohm resistor going to do to my circuit? Let me rephrase the question then. If I know this voltage here, what is that voltage in relation to this? What do you think? If I know this voltage here, let's say this is 5 volts. What's the voltage right here? Minus 7. Minus 7 what? 7. Well, the current. Current which way? Probably a plus to minus. Going to the right? There'll be no current going that direction. It's an open. So what's the voltage drop here? Zero. So this voltage is the same as this, because that's an open circuit. Current's not going to go in that direction. So this is really, this circuit, if you simplify it, is 12, 3, 6, and this is the open circuit. So can I find the V open circuit, which is V7 in? That's going to be what? Voltage division, 12 times what? 6 over the sum of them. What's 6 and 3? 9. <coughs> is that 8? 12 times 6 over 9, I think that's an 8. That's an 8, yep. So I found the first part of it. I need to find R7 in. This is the circuit I want to find R7 into it. Remember, when you only have independent sources, how do you find R7 in? This one says kill all the sources and find R equivalent. Let's kill all the sources. So here's what my circuit looks like. This is the seven. This is the six. This is the three. And how do you kill a voltage source? Short circuit. And I'm looking this way, what is R equivalent? That's your R7. Notice these two in parallel. The product over the sum. 
6 times 3, 18 divided by 9, that's a 2. 7. So what is our equivalent? Nine ohms. So I have V thevenin and I have R thevenin. So I can take my circuit now, this one here, and replace it with this. I have eight volts, nine, and this happens to be nine. Can you tell me what the voltage right here is? Eight times voltage division, nine over the sum of them, which is 18. Is that four volts? That's a good number. Yep, lucked out there. So that's how we handle our thevenin. We only have independent sources. We find V open circuit, and that's your V thevenin. And we find R thevenin by killing all the sources and looking back, what is the equivalent resistor? Now, what about if your circuit has independent and dependent sources? Let me find one. I'll go to the back of the book and grab one.